Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm going to talk about some very real and pragmatic hacks on how to get more attention on your art. So the first thing that I really suggest, and this comes to promoting things like uh, an OC of yours, a story of yours, any sort of like original character, like if you don't want to go the fan art route, um, one thing you can do is draw them in different like meme scenarios. So as an example, I'm going to be using my like VTuber model Lily Bell, and I'm going to be putting her in the same format as this meme that was kind of popular a little while back of this cute um, dog that appears to be standing up and giving like a little little peace sign action. Um, because Lily Bell has like the sleeves color covering her hands um, I thought it kind of reminded me of this dog having the like stamped on peace sign and I thought it would be a really fun and easy way to like sort of incorporate my character design into this meme that was popular for a while um, this is something that I highly recommend using comedy as a way to get people engaged with the stuff that you care about um, whenever you're trying to get attention on your art you have to be thinking about what you're offering and when someone doesn't know anything about your OC you don't have much to offer if it's just a drawing of them. Now sometimes if your drawing is so cool and so awesome and your character design is so perfect, um, sometimes you can get attention just off of drawing them, but it can really help if you try to add a little something like this, which is kind of like a joke, and it's also giving someone a reference point that they're already comfortable with because they've probably seen this meme before. That's another thing that can really help you as an artist is trying to find a way to make something unfamiliar, like your, you know, your comic or your story or your OC and um, sort of tying it in with something that is already familiar to the audience member and it makes it easier for people to get engaged with um, the thing that you're trying to show them. This next bit of advice is kind of an extension of this. So there's such a thing as like animation memes or like animatic memes. And that's something that I think is actually a lot more accessible and easier to do than you might first imagine. The great thing about this is that uh, it's more engaging, I think, to people and um, even more fun to watch. And on top of that, you can actually fit in a lot more information about your story or your characters that you're trying to promote or get people interested in. So in this example, I'm actually doing a series of different drawings uh, so that I can do this like TikTok trend where characters were basically um, speaking to each other about uh, being confessed to on Valentine's Day. And one character is sort of oblivious and telling the other character that they're going to confess. And the other character points out that by even saying this they basically have already confessed it's very cute it's sort of romantic so this is a great thing to do um, if you have a like character a couple OCs or whatever that you ship together or that you actually plan to put together in your story your webtoon your animation whatever it is um, people respond really well to character relationships I've noticed um, it's one of the things that can really pull people in I th think that also explains why so many popular webtoons and web comics are focused on romance because it's one of the easiest ways to get people engaged in your story so this is something that might be really really effective um, the problem with this is is that yes, you do have to put in considerably more work than you would just uh, mimicking one single static uh, meme image or funny image or whatever. Um, but I think it is well worth it. Um, I've definitely noticed that on this short and this TikTok that I posted, um, because of its fast pace, um, it almost feels like a, like a real animation. And I think that a lot of people really enjoy watching it multiple times because it is moving so quickly. Um, I think it makes people really appreciate it and makes people curious about the comic um, so it really works as far as like promoting it um, and it's a very like organic way to do it that doesn't feel like you know begging that's a huge problem with a lot of people's like attempts to promote their story or their OCs a lot of the times I notice people trying really hard to like convince people with words um, to give their story a chance but what's much better is to just sort of like offer up this silly little gift um, in the form of like an animation or animatic or yeah just a little like joke drawing. Um, it feels like you're putting less pressure on the viewer and it's something that they can just sort of seek out if it's something that's interesting to them. And I think that almost everybody responds better to that rather than being like pushed um, or feeling like they're gonna be doing you a favor. You want them to just get naturally curious about it and feel like they personally want to go check it out for their own reasons, you know? Um, that's something that I think is should be at the forefront whenever you're thinking about how to promote yourself as an artist. Um, so yeah, I, I basically just like watched other people's um, versions of this 
and I tried to think about my characters and their specific dynamic. I did a couple of redraws of different scenes and I also, for the uh, drawings that I knew would only last a second, I made some like more crazy faces and stuff just to reward people who watched it multiple times or again to give people like a glimpse at something that's interesting so they might watch it more than once. Um, this is something that helps the algorithm on most like video sharing sites as well so if you can put in something that makes people want to watch it again that's a really good idea and it's going to help promote it even more. The biggest problem with using some sort of like meme or trend is that the lifespan on these things are remarkably short especially on a website like TikTok um, but also on like YouTube shorts or anything like that so you really have to move fast. I decided not to color these just so that I could finally get it out um, before the trend was completely dead. <laughs> Now, if the thing you're trying to promote or um, get people interested in is more on the serious side, or you just tend to like more serious stuff and you're not like up for all this jokey stuff, one thing that you can do to really um, draw more attention in a sea of amazing art is to add a little actual animation. Now don't panic if you're not like an animation god, you don't have to be Glenn Keen to pull this off. All you have to do is decide uh, on a little lighting effect or a small piece of the character's face or hair or something to move a little bit. Um, decide this before you start drawing them, just so that it's easier to know what to keep on a separate layer. Um, for this example, I'm going to be using my OC for my uh, other project um, and because this character is a bit more serious he's not as suitable for the meme promotional stuff that I was talking about. Um, so the first thing you want to do is draw your character um, in a nice clear way. Uh, you want to be a little bit more meticulous than you might otherwise be for just a standard illustration because whenever you're doing animation it is critical that you know exactly where everything is supposed to go. It's a little less sketchy unless you want to do a lot of like sort of shifting um, frame by frame type stuff but what I'm gonna do here is actually do a little bit of lighting effect and I'm gonna keep it super super simple not go overboard just so that you guys can see that this can actually be pretty quick and easy um, so my plan is to do almost like a, th a thunder effect or like a, a light passing over this character's face so what, what we're gonna do is bathe the entire character in shadow and then I'm going to be cutting out light from a few different angles and then we'll be able to use animation to make that look like the light is actually moving. You have to have some understanding of the way that like light hits the face and the face structure. So if this seems too complicated, another thing you can do is draw the hair on another layer or the eyes on another layer and just do like a blink or a shifting of the hair. People are really attracted to movement and this is something that's going to really help pop out your, your little um, illustration with animation because uh, yeah, it's just really hard to compete with so many amazing artists making really beautiful still art all the time And this is just sort of like a little hack to get around that um, So you can see that I've opened up the animation timeline and basically what I'm gonna do is just move around these different um, lighting uh, layers so that it looks like the light is is moving around on him. So um, for thunder you don't want it to be like one right after the other, it's got to be more random. Um, so I showed you both the thunder and the pass over the face. Both could be quite interesting. I think if I did this for real, um, for my own usage, I would definitely add a few more frames, but I just wanted to show you how like quickly you can whip this up with pretty minimal different layers. This next trick works great if you're doing something less meme and more serious and also you don't feel like doing any like messing around with animatics or animations. It's a lot simpler and once you have these all set up you can use them many times on different illustrations and it will just add a little interest and get people um, I feel like to think it's more like interesting and cool and fun and that is using fun frames. Uh, now I see this a lot on like sort of like uh, cuter, more like trendy illustrations where you will place a frame around your digital illustration especially to make it look like it was painted in MS Paint or uh, that's like an old school like uh, window border or like it's an Instagram post or like it's a selfie on a phone or something. That kind of stuff can add so much interest to your illustration and just sort of catch people's eye. It also feels like very poppy and modern and just fun. Um, so this is something that I highly recommend and the cool thing about it is it really doesn't take too much time. You can even take 
like an actual screenshot or something of like an old school like Windows XP uh, sort of Windows frame um, and use that and that will be obviously extremely convincing um, but you can also do more of like a hand-drawn approach to give it a little more cute quirkiness and make it more obvious that you're you know this is just part of the the art process I lean more towards that second one but I find that either one will definitely make your art pop out so I just wanted to draw a character um, in a relatively simple pose you know this is the type of art that I feel like if I posted it it would get like a decent amount of love but like it wouldn't really stand out necessarily you know it's mainly just a character with their face it's like a bus shot um, so it's not something that is gonna like you know pop out and be extremely popular on its own so it's it's exactly the type of drawing that like just needs a little bit extra something um one thing that i do really recommend additionally this is like not as much of a hack but just something to keep in mind of is whenever you're posting on social media you really want to make sure that the colors are like very cohesive and the shape language is really obvious because i find that uh when there's so much visual clutter around your images it's way more important that you're focusing on things like clarity so those really basic like fundamental art school things of like silhouette and color cohesion and um, having like pops of color that draw the eye I think it's more critical on social media than anywhere else but anyway um this is me sort of making my like little baby hand-drawn version this is more like a Mac style window I would say um and uh, I just did it really quickly with the border brush um, Another thing I did was this sort of like hand-drawn version of like an Instagram thing. Um, I'm intentionally making it a little bit like, you know, sloppier and looking hand-drawn. I just kind of like that sort of thing. Um, but you can definitely make it like 100% accurate too, and that will look really cute as well. So those were some of my most rare but effective tips on how to get more attention on your art and how to promote your stories. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any tips that have really worked out for you, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you to all of my patrons, including Ventali, Sniper, JP25, Lucy Amajiki, Heartless Doll, Finn Must Die, Aries Chaos, Live Live, Salty Jackrabbit, New Smoke, Raven's Crow, Zocelot, T-Ho Music, Jabber Dabber Doo, Gender Was Stolen, K, Moon Milk, Kadaria, Deadly Nightshade Art, Astral Fox Art, Expressive Poker Face, Subaki, Michael Lavalie, Cutie Pie, Rune Rain Crow, Ice Cream Pal, Kola, Jade Jade, and of course, Libba Libla.